Hello, I'm Dr. Satish Rao from the University of Iowa Kawa College of Medicine. I am the lead author of our manuscript to be published in Clinical Gastroenterology and Hepatology entitled Investigation of Colonic and Whole Gut Transit with Wireless Motility Capsule and Radiopaque Markers in Constipation. This is a multi-center study that involved eight centers across the United States of America. Constipation is a common problem that affects 20% of the U.S. population and involves multiple subtypes. Because symptoms are poor predictors of the underlying pathophysiology, we often rely on clinical physiological testing such as colon transit study or anorectal manometry. Colon transit study is a useful way of assessing patients with slow transit constipation. However, radiopaque marker test requires radiation, is not standardized, has poor patient compliance, and does not assess regional gut transit time. Recently, a wireless capsule technique using smart pill has been introduced as a method of studying gut transit time, particularly gastric emptying time. Our aims were threefold, to investigate colonic transit time and whole gut transit time with smart pill in subjects with constipation and healthy controls, to examine and compare colonic transit time of radiopaque markers with smart pill in constipation and healthy controls, and finally to evaluate and compare gastric emptying and small bowel transit time with smart pill in both constipated subjects and healthy controls. This prospective multi-center study involved 148 subjects, 67 with constipation, and 81 healthy subjects. After an overnight fast, we ask our subjects to ingest a smart bar, which has 260 kilocalories of energy, with water. Next, we would have the subject ingest the radiopaque marker capsule containing 24 radiopaque markers. Next step is to ingest the smart pill capsule. And after ingestion, we ask the subject to lie quietly for the next two to four hours. And after respirator of six hours, the subjects are allowed home. Right after ingestion, we place a recorder on the patient's waist that picks up temperature, pressure, and pH activity that is being emitted by the capsule continuously. The subject wears this recorder for the next five days. Simultaneously, we assess their bowel symptoms and any other symptoms on a prospective stool diary. Patient had abdominal x-rays taken at 48 hours and 120 hours after ingestion of the SITS marker capsule. After five days of recording, the data is downloaded using a docking station and using a Motili GI software, the data is analyzed for pressure activity, transit time, pH, and temperature change. Here is an example of a normal colonic transit time. The green line shows the pH changes, and you can see that it drops precipitously because of acidic pH, and then abruptly rises after two and a half hours because the pill has now moved from the stomach into the small bowel. After five and a half hours, it drops because the pill has moved into the colon, and thereafter it resides in the colon and gives us an idea of colonic transit time. In contrast to the previous slide, here is an example from a patient with constipation, and you can see that the gastric emptying time is normal at about four hours, small bowel transit time is normal, but the colonic transit time is significantly prolonged at 80 hours. Furthermore, on the two x-rays, you can see the smart pill capsule at the 48 hour x-ray, but at the 120 hour x-ray, the capsule has been ejected, but multiple radiopaque markers are present confirming delayed colonic transit time. This box and whisker plot shows the data for colonic transit time in healthy females and males, and in constipated females and constipated males. As you can see, constipated patients have significantly slower colonic transit time than healthy subjects, and women have slower transit time than men. These profiles show the data for gastric emptying time small bowel transit time, and whole gut transit time. As you can see, constipated patients have slower gastric emptying time than healthy controls. Small bowel transit time was, however, similar, whereas whole gut transit time was, again, significantly prolonged in constipated patients than healthy controls. Correlation of smart pill with radiopic markers showed that there was good correlation in healthy subjects and constipated patients 
with day two SIDS markers and for colonic transit time and whole gut transit time, whereas with the day five SIDS markers, there was reasonable correlation only in the constipated group. This slide shows the sensitivity and specificity of the smart pill when compared to radiopaque markers. And as you can see, both the smart pill and radiopaque markers have a sensitivity in the 37 to 46 percent range, but the specificity is comparable and equal at 95 percent range. In conclusion, for clinical purposes, a single test that comprehensively assesses regional and whole gut transit time is preferable. Smart pill appears to provide such a technology. In our study, we found that colonic transit time and whole gut transit time were slower in constipated individuals than controls with both techniques. Smart pill is a novel and useful technique and provides comprehensive data of whole gut transit time, colonic transit time, and regional transit time in health and in constipation. And hopefully, by reducing the duration of study to only three days, it will improve patient compliance.